Africa's economic landscape encompasses a diverse mix of emerging economies, resource-rich countries, and nations grappling with economic challenges. One such nation is Zimbabwe. Despite its rich history and vibrant culture, Zimbabwe has been plagued by persistent inflation, making it one of Africa's most dangerous economies. This video looks into the root causes of the crisis and solutions for Zimbabwe to forge a brighter future. Picture living in a country where the economic landscape is a treacherous tightrope walk, riddled with instability, volatility, and vulnerability. In this all-too-real situation, every step is a gamble leaving businesses and individuals on edge, uncertain of what lies ahead. Prices soar and plummet like roller coasters, making it impossible to plan for the future. Rapid fluctuations in exchange, inflation, and interest rates are the dizzying norm. Structural weaknesses lurk in the background, with a heavy burden of debt and inadequate regulatory frameworks casting a shadow over progress. Political unrest further rattles the already fragile economic foundation. In such a dangerous economic environment, businesses shudder, jobs disappear, and ordinary people grapple with the harsh reality of financial hardship. Welcome to Zimbabwe's economic odyssey. Samantha Sibanda says the new measures by the Reserve Bank of Zimbabwe have not helped the economy. Instead, she's seeing prices go up and thus making it difficult for her to look after her four dependents. There's no savings at all. Um, and, you know, daily there's a shock that I get as well, uh, you know, just to see the everything is just going up. A journey that started with promise and faced numerous challenges along the way. Once hailed as the breadbasket of Africa, Zimbabwe boasted a thriving agricultural sector and witnessed remarkable economic growth during the 80s and 90s. Zimbabwe's early years of independence were marked by political stability, visionary leadership, and favorable investment policies. It was during this time that the country experienced a period of remarkable economic growth, becoming one of Africa's most promising nations. Even the GDP per capita increased by an average of 11.5% in the 1980s. Central to Zimbabwe's economic success was its thriving agricultural sector. This country's fertile lands and favorable weather conditions allowed it to produce abundant crops such as maize, tobacco, cotton, and wheat. This resulted in a robust economy, job creation for the people, and an opportunity for Zimbabwe to become a significant exporter in Africa. Yet, crisis loomed. As the new millennium dawned, Zimbabwe faced a multitude of challenges that severely impacted its economic growth. Misgovernment, corruption, and mismanagement of resources led to a decline in investor confidence and crucial foreign direct investment, FDI, which reduced economic output. For instance, the 2022 Transparential International's Corruptions Perceptions Index ranks Zimbabwe 157 out of 180 countries, indicating high perceived corruption in the country's public sector. The government of Emerson Manangagwa has shut the country down after opposition groups called for protests against corruption and economic mismanagement. But the president saw it differently, accusing critics of insurrection. Implementing the land redistribution program in the early 2000s exacerbated Zimbabwe's economic challenges. While the intention was to address historical land inequalities, the process was mired in controversy and violence, leading to a decline in agricultural productivity. Large commercial farms owned by white farmers were seized and redistributed without proper planning and support for the new owners. As a result, agricultural output and export capacity significantly dwindled, impacting Zimbabwe's livelihoods and overall economic performance. There are moments in history that leave an indelible mark, and the hyperinflation crisis in Zimbabwe is one such event. Triggered by economic mismanagement and political instability, this catastrophic chapter reached unimaginable heights in November 2008. At its peak, the monthly inflation rate soared to an astronomical 89.7 sextillion percent, with an estimated monthly rate of 79 trillion 600 million, plunging the economy into utter chaos. As a consequence, the value of $1 in U.S. currency became equivalent to $2,621,984,228. Money became as worthless as leaves blowing in the wind. Citizens found themselves carrying stacks of virtually useless banknotes to purchase everyday necessities. To keep pace with the skyrocketing prices, the government resorted to printing higher denomination notes, with $100 trillion becoming the norm. It was a surreal situation where the national currency symbolized economic devastation. As prices spiraled out of control, the purchasing power of individuals and businesses disintegrated before their eyes. Ordinary Zimbabweans woke up to nightmarish scenarios, witnessing the cost of a loaf of bread multiplying tenfold overnight while life savings could hardly cover a single meal. Unable to cope with the exponential cost rise, local businesses closed in droves, leaving employees unemployed and exacerbating the economic collapse. 
Hyperinflation triggered severe shortages of essential goods across the country. Increasing such reserves for banks to reduce money supply growth. Money supply growth is the one that drives the exchange rate. If you reduce money supply growth, you reduce the, the need to have the barrel rate continuing to, to go up. If we can stabilize the exchange rate, we will then be able to stabilize prices. Access to necessities, including food, medicines, and fuel, became a daily struggle for survival. Rampant hyperinflation, coupled with the collapse of key industries like agriculture and manufacturing, has left a lasting scar on the country's employment landscape. Statista reports an unemployment rate reaching an alarming 7.94% in 2022, an increase of 0.57% from 7.37% in 2019. Imagine the ripple effect of countless lives disrupted and dreams shattered by this economic quagmire. As unemployment rises, so does poverty. Without stable job opportunities, individuals and families struggle to secure their most basic needs and maintain a decent standard of living. This bleak reality strips away hope, reducing people to the humbling fight for survival. In 2019, Zimbabwe experienced a poverty rate of 38.3% based on its national poverty line. This rate increased from 32.2% in 2001, growing at an average annual rate of 10.32%. As of April 2023, the total consumption poverty line, TCPL, in Zimbabwe was 33,044.46 per person. This indicates that an individual needed that money to afford food and non-food items to avoid being classified as poor. The brunt of this burden is especially felt in rural areas where communities heavily rely on agriculture that bear the heaviest responsibility. Inequality looms ominously amidst the despair. The widening wealth chasm perpetuates a cycle of poverty, denying vulnerable members of society any chance at upward mobility. The resulting division will only deepen the wounds inflicted on Zimbabwean society. Over a decade, there was a simultaneous rise in poverty and inequality in Zimbabwe. This can be observed to the increase in the Gini Index, which rose from 42 in 2011 to 50 in 2019. As a result, many Zimbabweans experienced a decline in their living conditions, and they also observed a growing gap between the wealthier and poorer segments of the population. In a country's economy, foreign investors are vital drivers of economic growth. They crave stability and predictability, factors solely lacking in Zimbabwe's ever-changing political landscape. The uncertainty surrounding power transitions and inconsistent implementation of economic policies have left investors hesitant to commit their resources. As per the 2022 World Investment Report by UNCTAD, the inflow of foreign direct investment FDI in 2021 totaled $166 million, indicating a notable decrease compared to the period before the crisis, which amounted to $745 million in 2018. Similarly, during the same year, the overall accumulated value of FDI, also known as the total stock, reached $6 billion. In comparison to neighboring countries with stable political environments, this figure is dishearteningly low. Uncertainty is the enemy of progress, and Zimbabwe's political instability perpetuates this uncertainty. Imagine trying to build a future when the ground beneath you keep shifting. That's what Zimbabwe has faced with its erratic leadership changes. Each new leader brings their vision, leaving businesses and investors grappling with a lack of consistency in economic policies, hindering the long-term planning and stifling growth. The World Bank's Ease of Doing Business report paints a stark picture, ranking Zimbabwe 140th out of 190 countries. This ranking indicates the challenges businesses face in navigating the choppy waters of economic instability. Probably all Zimbabweans want a better life for all Zimbabweans and the people who live here. And I think that that's a very right motive to have. It's a good thing to live by and to work for. Dozens of government critics have been arrested, including the spokesperson of the main opposition party, the MDC. You see, businesses struggle to make confident choices when political environments are marred by volatility and unpredictability. The International Monetary Fund, IMF, identifies Zimbabwe's economic growth as highly volatile, with periods of decline and limited recovery. The volatility is partly attributed to political instability, which hampers macroeconomic stability and undermines investor confidence. So is there any hope for Zimbabwe? What's the road to recovery for Zimbabwe? What has Zimbabwe done to curb its economic storms? Well, with an unwavering determination, the Zimbabwean government has taken bold steps to rebuild the economy, 
forging partnerships with international institutions, and implementing strategic reforms. To stabilize the economy and rebuild confidence, the implementation of fiscal discipline measures has been a game changer. Last year, the gross domestic product, GDP, slowed to 3%, compared to the higher rate of 8.5% in the previous year. This was primarily influenced by external and internal shocks that the country experienced. However, the real GDP growth is predicted to regain momentum and reach 3.2% in 2023 and 2024. The strong performance of the agriculture, mining, and services sectors will mainly support this recovery. Additionally, implementing strict monetary and fiscal policies will improve macroeconomic stability throughout 2023. Moreover, structural changes have been initiated to bolster governance, promote transparency, and enhance the rule of law. To address the weight of external debt, Zimbabwe has pursued debt restructuring. The strategy aims to alleviate the burden on the economy and create a sustainable debt profile. In February this year, the President of Zimbabwe expressed the government's dedication to a strategy to resolve outstanding external debt arrears. As of September 2022, Zimbabwe's external debt stood at more than $14 billion. Regrettably, due to these outstanding arrears, Zimbabwe has been unable to secure financial assistance from institutions such as the International Monetary Fund IMF, for over 20 years. Notably, the Paris Club granted Zimbabwe a debt relief extension clearly recognizing the government's commitment to managing its liabilities responsibly. This renewed confidence from international creditors paves the way for increased access to financial resources vital for economic recovery. Adopting the U.S. dollar as an official currency, known as dollarization, has played a crucial role in combating hyperinflation and ensuring monetary stability. By examining data gathered from interviews and supplementary sources, the research findings revealed that adopting dollarization resulted in economic stability, curbed inflation, and led to a modest growth in the gross domestic product, GDP. Dollarization saying the country does not have enough US dollars to sustain the economy. That may mean a longer time for Zimbabweans like Zimbabwe before they see stable prices. However, some economists express skepticism regarding the effectiveness of these new measures in bolstering the Zimbabwe dollar. The skepticism arrives from the fact that the Zimbabwe dollar has already experienced a significant depreciation of approximately 70% since the beginning of the year, and the disparity between the official exchange rate and the parallel market rate continues to widen. The revival of Zimbabwe's agricultural sector, once hailed as the backbone of the economy, aims to launch the nation into a new era of prosperity. Agriculture has already started showing signs of resurgence. In 2022, Zimbabwe achieved its highest ever wheat harvest, reaching 375,000 tons. This remarkable achievement positions Zimbabwe as a self-sustaining agricultural force within the southern African region. With a wheat harvest of 375,000 tons recorded in 2022, Zimbabwe is on track to establish itself as a self-reliant agricultural powerhouse. The government has made tremendous efforts to enhance the investment climate in Zimbabwe. The result has been an influx of investments from various sectors, including mining, manufacturing, and infrastructure development. Chinese companies have invested $2 billion in Zimbabwe since last year, a testament to the country's growing appeal to global investors. However, the road to recovery is not a solitary journey. It requires continued support and collaboration from all stakeholders involved. The Zimbabwean government, civil society organizations, and international partners must join forces to achieve lasting economic stability. Implementing ongoing reforms depends on this collaborative effort and the sustained backing of all involved parties. Secondly, Zimbabwe needs a solid foundation of political stability. The economy can flourish when leaders work together to create an environment conducive to progress. In addition, effective economic policies play a pivotal role in steering the country towards prosperity. By implementing strategies encouraging entrepreneurship, trade, and investment, Zimbabwe can create a fertile ground for economic growth. But it doesn't stop there. Zimbabwe must also attract and nurture both domestic and foreign investment. The country can entice investors with promising opportunities by showcasing its abundant natural resources, educated population, and diverse industries. This influx of funding will fuel development, create jobs, and uplift communities. Zimbabwe has sound economic underpinnings that can overcome obstacles, seize new opportunities, and embark on a sustainable economic recovery and growth. Unleash an explosion of inspiration and motivation in your life by pressing the subscribe button, give a thumbs up on this video, keep the discussion going in the comments section, and watch the next video that will empower you to revolutionize the world around you.